topping our news at 5.30. Newly updated school guidelines are causing a lot of confusion about whether students must absolutely wear masks in the classroom in the coming school year, even if they're fully vaccinated. Joining us now in studio is 17's Christian Galeno with Local Reaction. Christian, good evening. Hey Jim, well, good evening. Well, yeah, confusion started when the state health department released guidance warning if a student doesn't wear a mask, they could be turned away from their classroom this fall. And just hours later, they issued a reversal. We are in a much better place this year than we were last year as we gear up. It's a school year many thought would be back to normal. The return to the classrooms would look like pre-COVID, except students will be required to wear masks indoors. Schools are poised to be able to return to um, relative normalcy, uh, full days, five days a week of in-person instruction. And those masks give Brittany Gwinling peace of mind as her daughter gears up to start first grade. They're not the best on keeping sanitary and being aware of six feet apart and all of that. So the masks play a big part in keeping them safe. Brothers, masks ensure that their home stays healthy even if they can't get the vaccine like kids who are too young. We have uh, immunocompromisation. My son has respiratory distress. I have cancer history. Okay with him wearing the mask to school and him being able to interact with his friends versus being isolated at home. For now, the California Department of Public Health has left the decision on how mask wearing will be enforced to each district and for these parents they know it's their responsibility to not only teach but to help keep others safe. Children only know what they're taught so if they have parents that teach them to be intolerant to mask or to public mandates of course they're going to be intolerant children. Yeah, well, Bakersfield City School District did not get back to us by deadline, but current high school district tells me that they are still drafting plans for their return and can expect those details in the coming weeks. That's the latest for now reporting in studio for 17 News. I'm Christian Galeno.